What's up everybody? Today, um, coming with a new video. Um, I'm gonna be making something that I love making as often as possible, um, but I've never done a video on it. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be doing salmon jerky. So I know it sounds a little weird, but I'm telling you it's fire. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, we got our salmon all thawed out. We're ready to go, so now Let's take their bones out. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be taking needle nose pliers and I'm just gonna start plucking the bones out. So now we've got all the bones taken out of these salmon. So what I did was I took them all and I put them in the freezer and left them in there for about 15 to 20 minutes so that they get a little more stiff. That way it makes it much easier for us to fillet them up. So let's start doing that. So I got my fillet knife. And as far as how thick you wanna cut them, that's gonna be up to you. Uh, I like mine to be a little bit more thin, but I think with this batch, I'm gonna do some thick and some thin. So you're gonna wanna leave the skin on because that's gonna help hold it together when it's on the Traeger. And uh, you're gonna wanna go with the grain of the salmon. You're not, wanna, you're not gonna wanna go, I mean, technically that's horizontal, but what I mean is you're gonna wanna cut this way. You're gonna wanna cut with the fish. You're gonna wanna cut with the muscle. So let's get started. All right, so now I got my salmon all filleted up, just like how I like it. And now we are going to make the marinade for it. So the first thing we got is we have a cup of low sodium soy sauce, one cup of low sodium Worcestershire sauce. We have about three quarters of a cup of Valentina Picante. And we have one cup of, that's just brown sugar. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it all and we're going to put it all in a single pot. And I'm going to get it on the stove to start melting it down. All right, I've had it at about medium low heat for around, I would say, seven or eight minutes. And basically, you're not trying to bring it to a simmer. You're not trying to boil anything. You just want the chunks of hot sauce to melt in, and you want all that brown sugar to melt down. So once you don't feel those granules anywhere around the floor of the pot, then that means that you've done it right. You're good to go. So I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag with my fillets, and we'll be good to go. So I took the marinade off the stove. I took it out of the pot and poured it into a Ziploc bag with all my salmon fillets. I made sure that before I zipped it up, I got as much air out as possible just so that the marinade obviously just has the most amount of surface contact with the salmon as possible. So now I'm gonna stick it in the fridge for about 10 to 12 hours. And I'm gonna make sure that uh, if I'm doing it for 12 hours, I'm gonna flip it after six so that uh, all these fillets get a real nice coating of this marinade. And if I do it for 10, then I'll flip it after five. You get it. All right, so we'll see you in about 10 to 12 hours and we should be ready to throw it on the grill. What's up everybody? So the salmon has been marinating for about 12 hours now. So I took it out of the fridge. I flipped it after six hours. Um, so I drained all the marinade into the sink. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out of the bag 
and we're gonna put it onto some paper towels. That way we can dry off all the marinade. It smells so good. Everything is nice and stiff, so I know I don't have to worry about these fillets breaking up on me. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pat these dry, and then we're gonna go ahead and put them on the Traeger. So right now I have my Traeger set to 180 degrees. You can do it at 160. Um, it's just a little cold out right now. So there have been times where I've done this. Usually I keep it around 160. But one time I had to lose a batch of jerky because I put it on in the middle of the night and it was cold like it is right now. And that was at 160 and it got too cold and the whole thing shut down. Now, if I would have had like beef or chicken, I could have just turned it back on and kept it cooking. But because this is fish, obviously all the parasites and everything had time to multiply and get in there. And I just didn't want to, I didn't want to deal with all that. So I just had to toss it to be safe. So I'm going to get all this laid out. I'm going to pat it dry and then I'm going to show you how to throw it on the, on the grate, on the Traeger, and then we'll get it started. All right, we got them all laid out, we got them all patted dry, and now they are ready to go on the Traeger. Okay, so we came out and we got the salmon on the Traeger. So originally I had it set to 180 degrees because I was scared it was gonna get too cold. Instead it got a little bit too hot. It came, I came out and it was around 200 degrees, so I dropped it down to the smoke mode, and now I'm sitting at about 160, which is exactly where I wanna be. Between 160 and 170 is the perfect temperature when you're smoking jerky for this long. So if you have something in the Timberline series or the Ironwood series, um, what you're gonna wanna do is just turn your digital dial to 160 and it should hold just fine. Mine's an older model, so I don't have that luxury. Um, I'm cooking with the Signature Blend pellets. So I'm pretty sure that those are just like the leftover of all the other blends from the factory and they sell them but I, I honestly love the blend i get way more smoke out of it much more smoke flavor and i noticed that they are much darker so they're not dried out pellets so we have our cinnamon laid out just like this nice and easy over the grate um, so another thing that you can do is you can add crushed red pepper for people who like it spicier i like it spicier so, but I mean, not everybody does and I'm not gonna be the only one eating these. So I'm just gonna do it to a small portion of this jerky, just a little bit. And that should probably be good. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna leave these on here at this temperature for about eight hours. So in about maybe seven hours, I'll come and check on them and see exactly how dehydrated they are. And, but I mean, I do have some thick cut and some thin cut, so chances are I'll probably leave it on for eight hours just to be safe. And then we'll get them off, and then when we get them off, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean your grate afterwards because you don't wanna leave fish on your bare grate. So we'll see you in about eight hours. All right, so we've had our salmon jerky on for about seven hours now. So pull it up. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Everything looks nice and dried and shriveled up. It's coming right off the grill. So that's telling me that we are good to go and these things are done. So I'm gonna take all these off and I'm gonna put them into a Tupperware container and then I'm gonna crank up my Traeger to about 350 degrees. I'm not gonna have the smoked salmon on there when it reaches temperature. I'm just doing this because I need to get the grill hot so that we can go ahead and clean it off. So we'll see in a few minutes. All right, we hit temp on our Traeger. We're at about 350 now. So all I'm gonna do,
hardest way to do it. Now we're gonna shut off our trailer. All right, so we got our jerky inside now. So with salmon jerky, remember, you're always gonna want to remove the skin. Look at that peeling right off. So I know that I, I got it perfect because it slid right off the grill. The skin came right off. It's pulling right apart. Yeah, buddy. That's nice jerky. Ooh. Got kick. Right on. That's salmon jerky.